Let's have a look at original equipment manufacturer, OEM licensing, and in particular focus on system locked pre-installation. So let's start with the Windows 7 OEM license. In the BIOS, you have a system license internal code, and you also have an external sticker known as a COA. This COA has the Windows 7 edition printed and it also has a 25 digit product key. This 25 digit product key typically isn't used with Windows 7 installation media. Instead, OEM installation media inputs a generic system locked pre installation key. This results in product activation if and only if the system's bias has a system license internal code of 2.1. This product key will however work with Windows 10 installation media as Microsoft took our installation feedback into account and made these keys compatible. These keys are still compatible with Windows 10 installation media. I tried it on an Optiplex 7010, which never had Windows 10 Pro installed two days ago and Windows 10 Pro activated. There's been a lot of confusion about this because Microsoft made a marketing flop stating that it would be free for the first year only. This was of course just a ploy to get as many people to upgrade as soon as possible. So let's look at this Optiplex 7010 before the clean install of Windows 10. So press Windows and R and I've typed in MS Info 32. So I can get information about the system model, the Windows edition installed, the BIOS version and the SM BIOS version. And if I go start and right click computer and select properties, then I can see that Windows is activated and the product ID contains OEM 899, which means it's activated with OEM system locked pre-installation. What I can also do is download a program called Read Write Everything and then just go ahead and install this program. This program looks directly to your bias and gives you um, details about your system's hardware, as the name suggests. So what we're interested in is the ACPI tables. The ACPI tables will tell you if you've got a system license internal code. If you do, you'll have an SLIC tab. So what we're going to do is we're going to select access to top and then we're going to select ACPI tables and then we're going to maximize these and we're going to see if we have an SLIC tab and we do. So what we want to do now is just scroll down and you'll see that there's a field telling you what your OEM is. So in this case, the OEM is Dell and you'll see that the SLIC version is 2.1, which means it's eligible for Windows 7 OEM system locked pre-installation. In the year before the release of Windows 8, developments in system hardware led to the unified extensive firmware interface. The UEFI is a more capable version of BIOS and this allowed the creation of a Microsoft Digital Marker. The Microsoft Digital Marker contains a unique 25 digit product key and Windows 10 Redstone 1 installation media will automatically input it during installation selecting the correct edition of Windows 10 to install. So again we can press Windows and R and type in MS Info 32 and then gap in the details regarding what operating system is installed, what's the manufacturer, what's the model, 
are we using a UEFI boot and is secure boot enabled? And we can also launch read write everything again and you guessed it, we're going to select access and then ACP I tables. So a system with a Windows 8 or Windows 10 home license shouldn't have a SLIC tab, it should just have an MSDM tab. So we've opened the MSDM tab and to the bottom we can see our 25 digit unique system locked pre-installation key. Windows 10 installation media will automatically input this during installation. As mentioned, the system shouldn't have a system license internal code. It does, however, which probably means that Dell sold some of these models with Windows 8.1 Professional. Let's have a look at the Professional Edition now. So the color changing stickers on the system will have the words Pro included. The UEFI BIOS should have an MSDM tab containing the system locked pre-installation key. It should also have a SLIC tab, which means the system is eligible for installation of Windows 7 Pro via OEM downgrade rights. So again, let's look at a system with a Pro license. So once again, we can open up MS Info 32 have a look at the installed Windows edition and details about the system model. And once again, we can open read, write everything and select access and then ACPI tables. So you'll see that we have the SLIC tab. And again, it should be version 2.1 which means the system is licensed for downgrade rights to Windows 7 Professional OEM. And then once again, we will have our MSDM tab. And this will contain our unique 25 digit product key. This product key will automatically be input by Windows 10 installation media and install the correct edition Windows 10 Pro. If you need help with Windows installation, always provide the following details from MS Info 32, the system model, the system manufacturer, the BIOS version, the SM BIOS version, the boot mode, and whether secure boot is on or off. Let us know also if you have an SLIC tab or a MSDM tab. Let us know what stickers you have affixed to your system and what they say omitting the product keys of course. So I'm just going to end the video in a targeted advertisement. So to our kith and kin in Canada, Australia, New Zealand and the United Kingdom, sign this petition to kick your government to reinstate free movement between our peoples. For more details see CANZ UK International.